<coughs> hey guys, just can't stop this top five. Back with another video. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at top five containers. What are the best things to contain your stuff? Uh, I do real quick want to address the the new art style. Uh, this isn't permanent. I just got a new computer. It's to address some of the things you guys brought up. It's a little a little old, so don't have the, those new softwares you have to do the good old fashioned way with paint and canvas that's okay though we're, we're gonna get right into it anyways with number one no number five I tricked ya tricked ya number five the bowl why the bowl you ask why not a plate or a cup well I'll tell you bowls are like plates and cups and bowls all in one you can use it as a bowl you can put a little spaghetti in there you can put a little meat sauce mm, good eat it up that's why I love bowls you know why else I love bowls you can put plate things in them too you got a big old bowl here you got a big old hamburger what you gonna do with them where well, you gonna put them inside each other you got your burger and your bowl all in one. Right? Can't do that with a plate. Can't do that with a plate. It, you say, how how is it a cup? How is a bowl a cup? You can't stop this top five. It's clearly not a cup. Well, that's where you're wrong, sir. The, see, I got a bowl. I put a little liquid in it. Drink it right up. There's me. Drinking it right up. Mm, good. Sure do love my bowls. God dang. Uh, up next, at, at number four, let's pull it on up. Number four. Uh, number four is blue. Is a blue little, uh, bottle. 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 Bottles are pretty good for cases where bowls are not. Cause they got a little lid. There it is. There's your little lid. Uh, you can put all sorts of things in bottles too. Most of the things you can put in a bowl, but you can also put extra things. See, I got liquid in that bottle, right? But if I tip it over, if that was a bowl, that's game over. But not with a bottle. See, it's still got its lid on, and the liquid's still inside. That's pretty good. Um, not just liquids either. You can put pretty much anything in it, anything you don't want to escape in, you could put, you could put a small, small creature, <laughs> small little creepy crawly creature in there, a little mouse man, mouse man's, ooh, a little evil, mouse, a little evil mouse man, he says, I will, I kill, I want to kill, um, and I say, no, 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 mouse man. No killing for you. You're never getting out of there. Woo! Okay. More containers. Moving on to the, uh, to the number, number three spot. Number three. A spot occupied by, uh, cylinders. D, D, R, S, cylinder containers. I know bottles technically fall in this guy, but I, th I thought they deserved their own category. So they're not, not cylinders anymore, because I say so. Um, these are pretty good for your food preparation needs mostly. Bowls are good for the food serving. These are good for the food prep. You got your pots. Those are cylinders. Everyone loves pots. Um, you got your cans which are pretty much just smaller pots, really. Uh, except they got the food already inside them. It's prepared, pre-prepared spaghetti sitting right in there. You just throw that in the microwave, and good, eat it up. Uh, that's what I love about spaghetti in cans. Um, so yeah, those are cylinders. You could also get coffee in cans, but I'm not really a coffee, coffee dude, so... I, I'm not even gonna mention it. I don't even respect coffee enough to mention it. How dare you, K 
can't stop this top five. I love coffee, but I don't love you. Uh, number two, bags. Bags are pretty good for anything. Um, uh, there's some pros and cons, just like anything. You could put, fit pretty much anything in there. It, the thing about bags is it kind of flex and molds, so like a bag could look like that, and you could crumple it up. It's space, space efficient. That's what bags are. I, uh, you could also put pretty much anything in a bag because of how they mold, right? So you can kind of stretch your bag in ways it wasn't meant to be stretched, and still fit things like. 2x4s in there, little 2x4s in your green bag, um, you could also put spaghetti in it, I guess, uh, they are a little absorbent sometimes, so maybe, maybe it's not always best to put spaghetti in your handbag, but, but you can do it, which, you know, we're all about the possibilities here, it can't stop this top 5, uh, it's possible, so we'll do it. That's number two, bags, um, move number one spot, I, go on, call back, remember the drum roll, well we're doing it again, drum roll please, ah, uh, number, no, oh, ho, ho, ho. uh, n number one, uh, is the, the box, some boxes are good. They're pretty much everywhere, and that's kind of for a reason. You got, like, your cereal boxes. You got, like, your your cardboard boxes. You got, like, your, your loot boxes. You, you got multiple boxes and side boxes. Your little Amazon boxes. The little Prime checks on them. Uh, they're pretty much good for anything. Just, like, you can do pretty much anything of the other things you that that we said before with a box uh put spaghetti in a box you could put you could put a little creature in with the spaghetti in your box bottles don't typically have the room for that so that's where it kind of beats it over put your little mouse friend in with your spaghetti uh you you can put water in boxes uh they're pretty much good for anything, getting them the, the ones, number one spot. They don't do anything particularly well, but they kind of do everything alright, I guess. Uh, so that's been the top five. Oh, but wait, there's more. Uh, here on Can't Stop This Top Five, we're, we're doing a new little segment, which is top number one comments. Uh, so, uh... We're actually doing two number one comments today. Ooh, look at that. I like that. Uh, two number one comments because we're a little behind. A little behind. Because um, I had done two videos for this one. So we'll just do two today. Make it a little longer extra bonus video. For sticking with me so long. So this one's for Mr. Mister. It says, Dear Can't Stop This Top 5. I have some constructive criticism for you. Please address your FPS problems. Well, actually, Mr. Mister, it's a little, it's a little outdated. Already done. Get on your game, Mr. Mister. Already got the new computer. A little, a little late for that one. Uh, he he kind of talks some more, um, but mostly I just wanted to tell him he was wrong. Uh, then. Uh, there's, um, here's another one, uh, here's another one, same, same guy, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Mister wins out the number one spot again, you guys gotta pick your comedy game up, uh, cause Mr. Mister sure is beating you out, uh, he says, uh, Dear, can't stop this top five. Uh, some more constructive criticism for you. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Mister. Always love your criticism. It hurts so good. Um, please, can you write a script for your fudging videos? Like, actually, man, how do you think you will make it big like my bro? 
PewDiePie without one. Are you a pleb or something? It really triggers me as I have an actual stutter IRL, and this is making fun of my disability. Thanks, Mr. Mister. Uh, this comment's actually pretty good. Uh, not many grammatical errors. Uh, he does know PewDiePie, though, so... If you know Mr. Mister, tell him I could use a little PewDiePie love. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my old, older videos here and here too, I guess. Uh, and uh, that's all.